Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or tonight, my fellow Soul Star Travelers. Welcome to this beautiful video that I am sharing with you. We have something special today, a new announcement. But first, we are going to share some music. This is absolutely stunning music called The Path to Elden Land. Meditated music. There are many kinds of dance, and dance is a healing art. So we are going to participate in a very simple dance today. And Zen. And Zen is a beautiful personal healing form of dance that you can do to music like this or frankly to any music of your choice. Today I've gone through and I have discovered for you the mudra for today. You can choose these cards yourself. These are by Swami Sarananda. She did not invent the mudras. She composed this beautiful deck of cards. With the various mudras in it for air, earth, fire, and water. Today, we have the air mudra. We have the air mudra, mudra. This mudra helps us with expansive energy. Okay, so here's how we do it. Put our thumb and forefinger together and our middle finger here at this crease. Perfect my okay. I'll perfect my ability to show these to you. But for now, I want you to try it. Very simple. These two, this one here is the line in your thumb. The others go a little. As I practice this mudra, I breathe deeply and experience a glowing warmth radiating, out, radiating outward from my heart chakra. As I practice this mudra and breathe deep, I feel a glowing warmth radiating outward from my heart shelf. Practice it throughout the day. 
anytime you take a break for as long as you like. Your breathing and your feeling the glowing warmth radiating from your heart chakra. Now here I've done it with and also do it with both ends. movement that you can enjoy in any time of your life. During the day when you take a break, you can also enjoy movement while you are working. If you are seated, you can breathe from your center of gravity below your chest, in between your chest. You can stop and you can give a little thump to your thymus. You can rebalance your brain. Mm, doesn't that feel good? Right? Start at your shoulder and pull it all the way down to your hips. A little hard to show on here. Shoulder all the way down to your hips. And most importantly, you're lifting up from your center of gravity. The point of dance is to move against gravity. You're going this way, right? Gravity is always pressing down upon you. So what you're doing when you, when you dance is you're fighting against gravity. Gravity is pressing down upon you and you are using your muscles. That's what muscles are for, you know? We've got this human form here, kind of like a kite, right? Got our spine and our shoulders here, and we're moving kind of like a kite. But to do that, we need our muscles to lift upward. Right, I hope I'm speaking loud enough today. Put the microphone a little closer. It's those spring days when you leave the windows open and your voice I don't know about you, but my voice gets a little lower. All right, my friends. I promised you that something special and I am ready to deliver. I'm releasing my book three in a different way. Mm -hmm. I noticed with books one and two, Elven World books one and two, I noticed that, well, here, let me show them to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see them here on the main page. Oh, it takes a little bit. Well, that's all right. Okay, you can see them here. Elven World Adventures, Return of the Tuahada Danan. I will be reading that to you uh, soon. <laughs> I've been recording. And Elven World Adventures, Book two, Soul Star Travelers Through the Portal. Stunning book. And these books are beautiful because they come alive. They've come alive. So now we are ready for book three. And this book is about something special. And that is our now. It is about our now. It is about you. Record. However impromptu this may be, I'm going to go ahead and read to you and uh, make the initial publication of this song, even though it is just words, 
even though we still need the music, even though I'll probably change the order, I want you to feel the call, okay? Our, I will say our book, because we are creating it together. Um, there's some pretty amazing people who came to me during book two, Star Travelers, and also very beautiful people who came to me in book one, The Return of the Tuatha Dé So we are going to continue with the Tuatha people, only now the people have spread across the planet and we are reviving and creating and elevating the Earth Star Nation. That is who we are. Here we go. Earth Star Nation. Earth Star Nation, hear my call. Earth Star Nation. Hear my call. From the east to the west, to the north, to the south, everywhere upon this planet, I call out to you, Earth Star Nation. Hear my call. Now build, sing, dance, take into yourself the wisdom of the ancestors who reside above in the heavens and below within you. Hear my call, I sing to you. Every note brings to you the sparkling crystal love you so deserve. The world of peace and harmony, Earth Star Nation, hear my call. Shine, we are one voice rising. Carried by the wind, carried by the flight of birds, spoken on the voice, spoken in the voice of the coyote, spoken in the voice of the elephant, spoken in the voice of the river, spoken in the voice of the forest and the mountains great. Earth star nation, speak it into existence. Earth star nation, dance it into existence. Earth star nation, bring in the new world. I call upon you, Earth Star Nation. Imagine into existence the world you are wishing for. Call it in now. It is your mission, magic makers. We see you. We know you. It is your mission, magic makers. We see you. We know you. Earth Star Nation, magic makers. We see you. We know you. Okay, like I explained earlier, as I explained earlier, this is an evolving, very authentic and daily practice we are doing here together. Um, I would love to visit with you. Please um, like and comment and subscribe and all those things. Okay, I want to make this an open forum, but Either way, I'm happy just to be communicating. I know, and you should also know, that every time you sing, you dance, you move, you spin, you fly, it makes a difference in this world, okay? So when you're doing those moving meditations of going through your day, washing your dishes or talking on the phone or being with your animals, it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. Okay, very special because your voice resonates. Your movements through the air resonate and affect all the world. All right, I have today, as I promised, we are reading from the Druid Animal Oracle deck. 
Okay, this is by Cargom, Philip. Okay. So you can have your own copy. I do hope I will be helpful in that. I am going to learn which direction is which. We pulled today, speaking of animals and our lovely pets, we pulled today the dog. Okay, what a beautiful, beautiful card. Brings guidance and protection acting as a loyal companion and friend on your journey in both this life and the next. In both this life and the next. In the Druid tradition, the dog is seen as the guardian of the mysteries. He's fierce, but his intentions are good. So for all of you, like me, it's interesting, this pup looks almost exactly like mine, maybe a little, little bit bigger. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll talk much more about the dog at a later time when we're working on the tarot. But right now for today, I am going to share a couple of more things with you. Just practicing. Mm -hmm. I'm attempting to share my screen. <laughs> oh boy, it's not, if it's not one thing, it's another. With this, I'm learning. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Like I said, this is really authentic material here happening in the now. I'm going to share my whole screen. So this time you can see. All right. This is rhodochrosite. We spoke of this beautiful crystal yesterday, and I want to read it again to you today. Rhodochrosite teaches the heart to assimilate painful feelings without shutting down. There's a lot going on in this world, and I want to remind you that you can do something about it just by being you. I want to remind you of the healing arts, music, dance, poetry, as very real practice that you use to process the emotions and the feelings that are happening in life, some of which come from within and some of which are stimulated by things perhaps you've seen or maybe even re-stimulated. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll learn. We have lots more to learn about it. Dissolving denial and identifying ongoing detrimental patterns. Rhodochrosite offers compassionate love and forgiveness. You face the truth with loving awareness. Very, very special, very special crystal, very special crystal. All right. All right, my friends.
Wishing you a very blessed day. Talk to you soon.